Hello guys, it's Rose and this week we are talking about our relationship with deities. Before I'm going to talk about how I work with deities or who my deities are, um, I'm gonna try and explain how I see deities as a thing. So um, for me, deities is more like an energy and it's kind of hard to explain. Um, so I believe that everything has an energy. I have energy, you have energy. My cat here next to me, who is being a brat, <laughs> uh, has a particular energy. My table has energy. So everything on this planet or in the, even in the universe has energy. And I believe that, <clears throat> sorry, that you can out energy and that you can make that energy manifest into things but i also believe that you can embrace energy and absorb energy and again everything has energy and i see deities as an energy too and i'm gonna try to explain it's uh, more like this whole universe is all energy and we have this um let, let's call it a diamond that's i think the easiest way to try and explain how I see things. We have a diamond and all, the diamond has all these facets, like all the shiny thingies. And every shiny thingy is a, a form or a group of a particular sort of energy. And we have male energy and we have female energy and those two are in balance. We all have some male energy in us and some female energy in us and some will take out more of the female energy and some more of the male energy some don't know yet um, and even plants are named as a male or a female but it's all about the energy that you can sense from one and another so again you have those facets like all the shiny parts who are groups of energy um, let's say there is this group of energy who is love we have hate those are emotions. Emotions are energy too, but you also have beauty, money. Um, I, I don't know. You have so many other energies that you can feel. Your inner fire is an energy. <clears throat> so all those facets are a particular group of that energy. And all those facets for me are a god or a goddess, whether it's male or female or both. Um, so. It's this whole diamond and it's, it all comes from one source, the diamonds. It's, it's uh, more like the, the universe. So the universe is this whole energy and it has a lot of groups. And God and goddesses have a lot of groups too. We call them pantheons. And in that pantheon, we have a goddess of love, uh, beauty. We have a god of lust, um, passion. We have a god for thunder, uh, lightning water fire uh, all the elements everything on this planet and in this universe has a group of energy again and everything you can find has a god and a goddess for that particular thing um you have a goddess for the sun uh, for the moon even for the sun uh, and we also have a god for the sun or the moon so it's all it all has a god and a goddess which is for me energy um and i think it's easier to call um beauty and love aphrodite except so we can more like take that energy deeper so we can connect with the name and the symbolism so we understand it better because a table is a table but if you can't see or feel it it's hard to understand what a table is right <laughs> um anyway i am wandering off again um, so for me, uh, I work a lot with the god Pan and I don't see him as a god on a throne who is watching me and says what I have to do. No, it's the energy of Pan that I work with. And Pan means a lot for me because one day I was having a meditation. He showed up and really literally told me, girl, don't be so serious. Life is a party. So um, for me, that was like an eye opener. I was like, whoa, don't do that shit anymore <laughs> and enjoy life. 
And Pam is really that guy. Um, if you have the myths, and myths are also to understand energy is better and to understand what that God energy is for, so you can take it in better and embrace it and work with it. So Pam has this myth that he seduces all those nymphs and that he dances through life with his pan flute partying and just not really um, thinking too much about life. He is trying to celebrate life. He doesn't take things too serious and he is so much more, but I am not going deeper into Pan himself because that will be a very long video. Um, but those are, are a part, it's, it's like this group of energy that he brings to us. And I call him Pan and I call him him, but that's for me easier to understand the energy group that I want to work with. And it's easier when you meditate to talk to an energy like a God, instead of trying to like see and work with an energy you can't feel. Like you can feel it, but you can touch it. Like you want to feel a table, touch the table to understand the table, right? Um, so um, for me, that's easier to work with energies to make it like a goddess because, or a god. Um, during this time of the year, Imolk has happened and spring is kind of there. I don't feel it. I'm so cold. It's freezing in Belgium and um, I know it's pre-spring, but I can't feel it yet. Sometimes I, I can like smell it already when you go outside. I'm not sure if you guys have that too, but I can really sense and feel and smell those seasons. And I know spring is there, but you can't see it yet. And for me, the goddess Brett, Bridget or Breed or however you want to call her, she is for, um, she's much celebrated during this time of the year, during Imolk. And she's the goddess of fire, um, skills and nurturing. And she, she's really my, like for me, she's more of a cleansing goddess and everyone may feel a goddess like in another way. But for me, she's more of this woman who was like, we had a heavy, heavy winter, but hey, spring is coming, nurture everything you love, cleanse everything, everything is refreshed again. And she really is about that warm, that fire. And even though you can see it outside yet, she is there, the energy is there. And it really gives, helps me grow that inner flame again to be like, oh, by winter, spring is coming, prepare, do your things because summer is next door, you know? <laughs> so for me, she helps during this time. And in the summer, I work a lot with the goddess Epona. Um, she's of the horses. And I don't see her really like a horse goddess. I know she is called a horse goddess, but more as that sherry, like the, the horse is taking that chariot. Uh, I work a lot with tarot and the chariot card is very important for me. And for me, Epona is the goddess who helps me carry my chariot. And she gives, she helps me to make that inner fire from the goddess Bridget make it even bigger and in the summer i literally bam my energy goes everywhere and i start doing things again i go outside i work with my energy even more and in the winter i i really work with those chrome goddesses i sit in stillness and i think more about life uh what i want to do what i ha still have to do and i make my goals already but then in spring i prepare everything and in the summer bam and then in the winter um in the autumn <laughs> you can really harvest everything you did that summer and in the in the spring and all that i'm, I'm really rambling today but all those energies all those goddesses I, I i connect them with a season too and a season is their own energies so for me that's really my relationship with uh, goddesses and gods um they aren't this thing on a throne uh like christians sorry i don't want to offend anyone but more like an energy and i can really sense that their energy is in me you can work with them but you can also invoke them and be 
that energy and that's really important for me because we can't always have that inner flame spanning out and we can't always explore the world we also have to be a crone and sit in stillness and relax for a second and that energy you can take from a crone goddess and you also have the nurturing energy from a mother goddess and so forth and so far but um yeah that's really what i want to say it's a lot of rambling and it's very hard to explain for me but again not a real god or goddess for me maybe for you it is but more of a symbolism of energy who helps me get through life really and i'm really glad that i find found a way to work with the energies of the universe to make me better and i hope that you guys can find a way to maybe with really worshiping a god and a goddess or work with a god and a goddess of a, or a, just a deity um and yeah so that's my view on things i'm sorry the video is so long and i'm rambling all the time but it's it's just really hard to explain and i really really hope you guys have your own way because it's amazing to have a way to work with deities and find your inner self through them so i wish you guys a very good evening because in belgium it's already evening <laughs> And I hope your weekend is wonderful. If you have any questions on, <clears throat> on how to find a god or a goddess or to work with energies, or if you have another way how you do things, let me know. I'm open for talks. So I'll see you guys next week on Friday with another topic. Many blessings.